What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, I'm going to give you another character build here. This is linked to the Isle of Sipta, so you will need access to the Isle of Sipta DLC to do this character build. But it's really strong, and it's so strong that I'm actually going to use this build in my Let's Play that I have coming up. Jumping right into it. The first thing that we're going to go over is how I buffed. I used the War Paint of Vitality, and then I used all the elixirs except for the one that boosts accuracy because this build really doesn't require accuracy. The sigils that you're going to want for this build is the Sigil of the Twice Drowned. This one is going to occasionally allow you to attack without using any stamina. The Sigil of the Demon is the next one, and this sigil is going to allow you to run further without rest. The Sigil of the Bat, this one is going to boost your jumping ability while sprinting. That one's really cool for this build. And then the Sigil of the Goblin boosts your hardiness. So essentially when you eat and when you are 100% fed and you have 100% hydration, it's going to give you both more hit points and more stamina. I do want to show you how hardiness works. So if you look at both my hit points and my stamina right now, when I eat, it's going to increase both of those. So I'm going to eat and you can see I got an additional 20 stamina and an additional 90 hit points. So that sigil in and of itself is a really good sigil to have. Sigil of Jill's Brood, this one here is going to allow you to survive longer falls. This one's not really necessary, but this build does not have the cat-like falling, so this is a nice sigil to have to give you that little bit of cushion if you fall. And then the Sigil of the Fiend, that's the last one, and this is the one that's going to prevent you from losing your other sigils. Now, in this character, I do have all of the sigils loaded, but these are the ones that really affect this particular build in a positive way. These ones would do that also, and you can min-max that way should you want to. On to the armor, what we're going to wear is the Aspect of the Demon, the Black Corsair Pauldron, the Black Corsair Leggings, and the Boots of the Serpent. Now you guys have seen this build in my Immortal Blender build. What I'm going to tell you is that all of this, you can choose whatever you want. The most important piece for this build is the Gloves of Jill. So we're going to put those on. What that does is immediately gives us a status effect, which is Jill stamina. Increase stamina regen while stamina is less than your current health. My stamina is always going to be less than my current health unless I'm in a really bad situation. So where do you learn the Gloves of Jill? It is on the Isle of Sipta, like I said, and it is going to be right up here at the Valerie of Jill. Now, once you reach the end here, you will want to defeat this boss. Before leaving this area, you want to interact with this right here. That's going to teach you the armory. Then you're going to step on this plate, and that's going to drop down. Jump across to get to the next section. Once you've landed on the other side, you're going to come in, take a right, and head right down here. This is where you're actually going to learn the armors. When you're crafting these, it actually doesn't matter which one of the armorers you use. So I crafted these with three different types of armorers, and they all came out the exact same way. Whereas other things do get different values, like this helmet gets different values, these don't get different values. So any tier 4 thrall, just craft them up. The recipe is 1 Perfected Light Padding, 9 Layered Silk, and 6 Eldarium. So, very cheap to craft. On to the weaponry, and this is a key point that I'm going to make. What you want to add to any of the weapons that you're going to use is the Balance Weapon Fitting. Don't worry about the increased damage or armor penetration. You'll see what this build does here in a moment, but this is what you're going to want to add. And the top line of weapons here, so the daggers, the greatsword, the warhammer, the gladius or the short sword, and then the great axe, these have the best effect for this build. The katana, the war axe, the mace, the pike, and the one-handed sword. 
still have a good effect with this build, but not as good as this top row. So I'm just going to take these daggers of the outer dark out of the box. They have had this applied to it. You can't see that because it bugged out and I'd have to use them and then repair them in order for it to show on screen. Let's take a quick look at my attributes. So here's my build and you could swap these out if you wanted more strength and not as much vitality. You could absolutely do that. I chose to go with the vitality build. It's got plenty of strength. I'm going to deal tons of damage. Not worried about it. What's important here is that you make sure you have this first perk in agility and this first perk in grit. You can go all the way to the second perk in grit, but you're not going to see a huge difference with this build. The second perk in grit is an additional 10% stamina regeneration per tick, but I don't feel like it's important for this build. The encumbrance, this is something that I always do just to get sure footed so I don't get crippled as severely. So now what I want you to do is pay attention to my stamina bar just while I'm running here. And actually what you can see is it goes down and then it bounces back up. So as I'm running, I'm actually gaining stamina back, which means I'm going to be able to run a lot further than I would be able to without wearing these gauntlets. I want to show you climbing. What does it do when we climb? So I'm just going to run and jump right up here. And as you can see, as we're climbing, it's actually bouncing back up. Now, what I can tell you is you can climb absolutely anything, anywhere with this build. And here's why. I'm just going to stop right here. And my stamina is going to regen while I'm just holding on to the wall. So you can stop, wait for your stamina, regenerate, and then start climbing again. Again, it's not a trick. It's not anything like that. It is just these gloves doing that. So it's going to regen fully. I'll just stop right here. It'll regen back up and then I can continue to climb the rest of the way. So whatever you want to climb, you can do that with this build. As for rolling, you can get the full six rolls out of this, and sometimes you can actually get a seventh. You can recover really quickly too, so you can be back into a roll rather quickly. If you're using daggers and you want to do backflips, let's go ahead and do that. We can do backflips forever. You can absolutely go across the entire map by backflipping with this build. You just stop for just one second, builds back up, and you keep going. And for the most part, you don't even need to do that. You could just continue to backflip and backflip and backflip across the map as far as you want to go. Now, I don't know how many of you caught it in my Let's Play, but I used this build to kill the Forlorn Soul. And many of you didn't comment about the fact that I didn't lose stamina throughout that fight. I was actually able to just stagger that enemy from the first hit until death, aside from letting it out of its cage for just a moment so that it could hit me and I could reset. I could have kept it in a corner being staggered the entire time. There's plenty of people that I get comments from asking how they can continue to be in the fight and how they can not lose stamina as fast. This is an amazing build for that. This one's all about stamina and you spend very little points in grit. Now, I personally like this with a light armor for the light armor regeneration, but medium would also be good as well. Heavy is going to be a little less noticeable, but it still will be noticeable and it's still viable on a heavy armor build. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and whack that like button and subscribe for future awesomeness. I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen. Click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.